Oh, I just feel it in my gut. Welcome back to another episode, family. Afro Senpai here. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. I make videos about building wealth along with a winning mindset because I believe that everybody deserves to be happy and everybody deserves to be free. So I posted on Instagram a snapshot of the mathematics behind how Bitcoin gets to a million dollars per coin. So we're breaking it down in this video for you. First thing we need to do is understand the total wealth of everything in this world. So in my search for what the total global net worth is, I found three different cases. So we'll call them the bear case, the base case, and the bull case. So first thing we're gonna do is create a percentage for the current market cap of Bitcoin in relation to global assets. And we're looking at the fully diluted market cap of Bitcoin. We're gonna divide the fully diluted market cap by the global assets, and we get a current percentage that's less than 1% which makes sense because Bitcoin is not a big player in the grand scheme of things when it relates to global assets yet. So what we're gonna do is take global assets, multiply them by the percentage of Bitcoin and divide that by 21 million, which is how many coins that will ever be produced in Bitcoin's history. When we do that, we get this 23,000 number. Now, why does that number look familiar to us? If we go back to CoinMarketCap, we see that as the current price of Bitcoin. So now what we're gonna do is set up the same ratio, but instead of using Bitcoin's fully diluted market cap, we're gonna use the market cap of gold. That gives us a percentage of about 2.6%. And this is how Bitcoin gets to a million dollars. If we think about gold, younger generations who are learning about wealth most likely don't know how to buy gold. Furthermore, they probably don't even want to buy gold. They want everything on their phones. They want everything digital. So instead of buying gold, they're gonna look to the next best thing. Most people think of Bitcoin as digital gold. Buying Bitcoin is infinitely easier than buying gold. There's so much more advertising for buying Bitcoin than there is for gold. Kids are using apps that allow them to buy Bitcoin, so it's already going to be indoctrinated into their system. And as large companies start to buy into Bitcoin, the average person's buying into Bitcoin, we can make the hypothesis that Bitcoin's market cap will match that of gold's market cap. So let's look at the number when Bitcoin reaches gold's market cap. So here we see Bitcoin at half a million already. And from here, we get to adjust the numbers. If we have large corporations buying Bitcoin and putting it on their balance sheet, I feel that's when Bitcoin can match gold's market cap and even exceed it. So if we switch out the numbers from 2.6% and bump it up to 3%, we see Bitcoin at over half a million. If Bitcoin becomes 5% of the global market cap, that's when we see it hitting a million dollars per coin for the first time. This is when nation states and pensions are buying in after regulation comes in. So less likely, but still possible, Bitcoin becomes 10% of the global world's asset. We see it at 2 million a coin. For the base case and the bull case, we just have to adjust the numbers a little bit. We're gonna take the diluted market cap and put it over 900 trillion now and figure out our Bitcoin ratio. We're gonna do the same thing with gold's market cap, put it under the 900 trillion and figure out the gold ratio and compare the numbers again. So at 2% of a $9 trillion market cap, we see Bitcoin well over a quarter of a million dollars per coin. At 5%, we see it at $2 million per coin. And at 10%, we see it at 4 million. Last but not least for bull case,
So to recap what I'm talking about in this video, it's not about when this stuff will happen, it's more along the lines of how it can happen. A lot of people are saying Bitcoin will never be such and such a number, so I wanted to show the mathematics behind how these things could take place if the stars align in the right ways. So will we see Bitcoin being a million dollars in our lifetime? It's hard to say. But can it happen? Of course. And it helps to see the mathematics behind it rather than people say, oh, I just feel it in my gut or trusting people on youtube that's gonna do it for this episode folks if you learned something let me know in the comments also let me know what you think the price of bitcoin will be in 2025 as well as 2030 you already know for me i'm going for 100k in 2024 and before you go don't forget to pay the like tax share this with a friend who's constantly saying i feel bitcoin's gonna do this in the price let them know that there's mathematics that they could be doing to figure out a more appropriate price and until the next one remember to smile because you are beautiful peace Oh,